Welcome to this practical Excel tutorial, where we'll master the creation of drop-down lists. These user-friendly lists are essential for efficient data entry, ensuring accuracy and consistency across your spreadsheets. We'll explore various methods, including creating lists from cell ranges, named ranges, and Excel tables. Plus, we'll look at how to make your lists dynamic, searchable, and even editable. Whether you need to streamline your data entry or simply want to improve your Excel skills, this tutorial will guide you through each step. So, let's get started and enhance your spreadsheets with functional and flexible drop-down lists. Drop-down lists are an indispensable feature in Excel for several key reasons. They not only restrict user input to a predefined set of values, which minimizes data entry errors, but also enhance the consistency of your data. With drop-down lists, you can ensure that every entry conforms to the same format or standard, making your data more reliable and easier to analyze. Moreover, drop-down lists can improve the speed of data entry by providing a quick selection mechanism instead of manual typing. This is particularly useful when dealing with long or complex strings of text, reducing the time spent on data input. They also help maintain a clean and organized spreadsheet, making it easier for others to understand and work with your data. Imagine you manage a list of employees and their departments in your Excel workbook, and you want to create a drop-down list for the department field to ensure that only existing department names are entered. You want to create a drop-down list for the department column to streamline data entry. In this example, the departments are unique and listed in the department column. Ensure your list is clean and free of duplicates. Click on the cell where you want the drop-down list to appear for the department names. This could be in a new row or a separate table for data entry. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, type the range of your department names. For our example, it would be C2, C5, assuming column C contains the department names. Ensure that in cell drop-down option is checked to display the drop-down arrow. Close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a drop-down list. Click on the cell with the drop-down list and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of departments. Select a department from the list to populate the cell. If you need to add or remove categories, you can do so in the source range and the drop-down list will reflect these changes ensures that only predefined categories are entered, maintaining consistency in your data. If the drop-down list doesn't appear, verify that the in cell drop-down option was checked and that the range specified in the source field is correct. By following this example, you'll see how to create a functional drop-down list from a range of unique data, enhancing your data entry process with efficiency and accuracy. Suppose you are tasked with managing a list of unique product categories in your Excel workbook, and you want to create a drop-down list for data entry using a named range. This ensures that only predefined categories can be selected, maintaining data consistency. You want to create a drop-down list for the category column to streamline data entry. Click on the column that contains the unique categories you want to use for your drop-down list. In this example, it's the category column without duplicates. With the categories selected, go to the formulas tab and click on define name in the defined names group. In the new name dialog box, enter a name for your range, such as unique product categories and click OK. Click on the cell where you want the drop down list to appear for the category names. Go to the data tab and click on data validation in the data tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, type an equals sign followed by the name of your named range, such as equals unique product categories. Ensure that in Cell drop-down option is checked to display the drop-down arrow. Close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a drop-down list populated with the categories from your named range. Click on the cell with the drop-down list, and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of unique product categories. Select a category from the list to populate the cell. Named ranges help keep your workbook organized, 
especially when you have multiple lists or need to reference the same list in different parts of your workbook. Updating the list is as simple as modifying the named range, and the changes will automatically appear in all associated drop-down lists. If the drop-down list doesn't display the named range values, verify that the named range is correctly defined and that there are no blank cells within the range. By following this example, you'll see how to create a functional drop-down list from a named range, providing a streamlined and efficient way to manage data entry in Excel. Suppose you maintain an inventory list in Excel, and you want to create a drop-down list that automatically updates as you add or remove items from the inventory. Excel tables provide a built-in way to achieve this dynamic behavior. You want to create a dynamic drop-down list for the department column based on the inventory list. Click on the first cell of your inventory list and drag to select the entire dataset. Go to the Insert tab and click on Table in the Tables group. In the Create Table dialog box, ensure that My Table has headers checkbox is checked if your data includes headers and click OK. Click on the cell where you want the drop down list to appear for the department names. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, use the formula equals indirect Table 1 Department, where Table 1 is the name of your table. This formula references the Department column in the table without including the header. Ensure that In Cell Dropdown option is checked to display the drop down arrow. Close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a dynamic drop-down list that updates automatically with the department values from the Excel table. Click on the cell with the drop-down list and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of departments. Select a department from the list to populate the cell. Imagine you've sold out of the LG washing machine and no longer need it in your inventory list, but you've just added a new Sony noise-canceling headphones to your inventory. Go to the worksheet containing your inventory table. Click on the row number below the last existing row in your table to select it. Excel will automatically add a new row to the table. In the Product ID column, enter a unique ID, such as 4. In the Product Name column, type the name of the new product, for example, Sony Noise Cancelling Headphones. In the Department column, type the department name, such as Headset. In the Price column, enter the price of the new product, for example, 299 Now, let's say you want to remove the Samsung Galaxy S21 from your inventory list because it's no longer available. Click on the row number of the row containing the Samsung Galaxy S21. Right-click on the selected row number and choose Delete from the Context menu, or use the Delete Rows command in the Rows and Columns group on the Home tab. After adding the new product and removing the outdated one, switch to the worksheet where you've set up the dynamic drop-down list. The cell should have the drop-down list created from the Excel table. Click the arrow in the cell to display the list of departments. Notice that the Samsung Galaxy S21 department is no longer in the list, and the new headset department for the Sony noise-canceling headphones is now available for selection. The dynamic list saves time by eliminating the need to manually update the list every time you change your data. It reduces the risk of errors by ensuring the list always reflects the current state of your data. If the drop-down list doesn't update as expected, ensure that the table is correctly set up and that the data validation formula references the correct table and column. By following this example, you'll see how easy it is to manage a dynamic drop-down list that automatically adjusts to changes in your Excel table, streamlining your data management process. Imagine you're working with a list of employee skills in your Excel workbook and you want to create a dynamic drop-down list that automatically includes all unique skills without duplicates. This is particularly useful in Excel 365 and Excel 2021 where the introduction of dynamic arrays has made creating such lists more straightforward than ever. You want to create a dynamic drop-down list for the skills column that will automatically update as you add new skills or remove existing ones, taking full advantage of the dynamic array capabilities in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. 
Click on the cell where you want the drop down list to appear for the skills. Type the formula equals unique, C2, C4, in the selected cell. This formula will automatically extract unique skills from the range C2, C4, showcasing the dynamic array functionality in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, enter a reference to the cell containing the unique function followed by a hash character, such as equals $f1 hash, where cell F1 is the cell with the equals unique C2, C4 formula. Ensure that in cell dropdown option is checked to display the dropdown arrow. Close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a dynamic dropdown list that includes all unique skills from the range. Click on the cell with the dropdown list and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of unique skills. Select a skill from the list to populate the cell. To add a new skill, simply type it in the skills column for any employee. The unique function will automatically include it in the dynamic list, thanks to the dynamic array features in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. To remove a skill, delete or modify it in the skills column. The unique function will update the list to exclude the removed skill. The unique function ensures that the drop-down list only includes unique values, eliminating duplicates, and it leverages the power of dynamic arrays in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. The list updates automatically as you add or remove skills from the source range, showcasing the convenience and efficiency of working with dynamic arrays. You'll see how to create a dynamic and unique drop-down list in Excel 365 and Excel 2021, harnessing the capabilities of dynamic arrays to simplify your data management. Imagine you have a workbook with multiple sheets, and you want to create a drop-down list on one sheet that is populated with data from another sheet. This is useful for creating consistent and centralized lists that can be easily updated and referenced across different sheets. This is the data source for your drop-down list. You want to create a drop-down list for the product ID column on sheet 2 that sources its data from the product ID column on sheet 1. Navigate to the sheet where you want to create the drop-down list. Click on the cell where you want the drop-down list to appear for the product ID column. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, you need to reference the range on sheet 1 that contains the product IDs. Type the following, equals sheet 1, dollar a $2, dollars, dollar a $4, dollars, where sheet 1 is the name of the sheet with the source data, and dollar a $2, dollars, dollar a $4 dollars is the range of cells containing the product IDs. Ensure that, in cell dropdown, option is checked to display the dropdown arrow. Close the dialog box, and your selected cell should now have a dynamic dropdown list that sources its data from the specified range on sheet 1. Click on the cell with the drop-down list, and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of product IDs from Sheet 1. Select a product ID from the list to populate the cell on Sheet 2. If you add or remove products on Sheet 1, the drop-down list on Sheet 2 will automatically update to reflect those changes, as long as the source range remains the same. You can manage your source data in a centralized location and the changes will propagate to all sheets with drop-down lists referencing that data. Ensures that all sheets are using the same set of data, reducing errors and inconsistencies. If the drop-down list doesn't update as expected, verify that the reference in the source field is correct and that the source data range has not been changed. Imagine you have a master workbook with a list of suppliers and you want to create a drop-down list on a different workbook that is populated with data from the master workbook. This is useful for maintaining consistent supplier information across multiple workbooks. This is the data source for your drop-down list. And create one name range for your supplier name values, such as SNAME. You want to create a drop-down list for the supplier name column on your main workbook that sources its data from the supplier name column in the 
Suppliers. XLSX Workbook. Navigate to the sheet where you want to create the drop down list. Create another name range to reference the source workbook, and you can create the name, DNAME, that refers to equals suppliers, XLSX, SNAME. Click on the cell where you want the drop down list to appear for the supplier name column. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, you need to reference the range in the Suppliers XLSX workbook that contains the supplier names. Type the following formula equals D name. Ensure that in cell drop down option is checked to display the drop down arrow. Close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a dynamic drop down list that sources its data from the specified range in the suppliers. XLSX workbook. Click on the cell with the drop down list and you'll see an arrow appear. Click the arrow to display the list of supplier names from the suppliers. XLSX workbook. Select a supplier name from the list to populate the cell on your main workbook. If you add or remove suppliers in the Suppliers XLSX workbook, you need to update the Source field in the Data Validation settings in the Orders XLSX workbook to reflect those changes. If the drop down list doesn't update as expected, verify that the reference in the Source field is correct and that the external workbook is open and accessible. By following this example, you'll see how to create a dynamic drop-down list in one workbook that sources its data from another workbook, streamlining your data management process and ensuring consistency across your workbooks. Imagine you manage a large list of customer names in your Excel workbook, and you want to create a searchable drop-down list for data entry. Excel 365's autocomplete feature in data validation lists makes this task efficient and user-friendly. You want to create a searchable drop-down list for the customer name column to streamline data entry. Click on the cell where you want the drop-down list to appear for the customer names. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation in the Data Tools group. In the Data Validation dialog box, switch to the Settings tab. Under the Allow section, select List. In the Source field, type the range of your customer names, such as equals dollar b2 dollars dollar b100 dollars where column b contains the customer names check in cell drop down ensure that in cell drop down option is checked to display the drop down arrow close the dialog box and your selected cell should now have a searchable drop down list excel 365 automatically enables the autocomplete feature for data validation lists as you type in the cell the autocomplete algorithm will suggest matches from the drop down list. Suppose that you have a product order form where customers can select their favorite product feature from a list. We want to provide them with a drop down list but also allow them to enter a custom feature if their preference isn't listed. Let's start by selecting the cell under the Favorite Product Feature column where you want the drop down list to appear for the first customer. Go to the Data tab on the Excel ribbon and click Data Validation to open the settings. In the Data Validation dialog for the Allow setting, choose List. In the Source input, enter the predefined product features separated by commas Durability, Affordability, Design, Custom Feature. To make the list editable, go to the Error Alert tab. Uncheck the box for Show Error Alert after invalid data is entered to allow any text entry. Optionally, to inform users that they can add a custom feature, set an error alert. Check Show Error Alert after invalid data is entered. Choose Information as the alert style. Enter. You can type in a custom feature as the message. Click OK to apply. Now, Click on the drop-down cell to see the list. Test the editable feature by typing a new product feature not listed in the source. Well done! You've now learned several methods to create effective and efficient drop-down lists in Excel. These skills will greatly enhance your data management capabilities. Thanks for watching this tutorial on creating drop-down lists in Excel. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask.
Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.